Hey guys, how you doing? This is your boy Rich from Rich TV Live, and you too can join the club at richpicksdaily.com where you can learn how to win and trade. Hi, how's everybody doing today? I am your host, Rich. Here we have a Rich TV Live with our very special guest, the CEO of Awaken Life Sciences, Anthony Tennyson. How are you doing today, Anthony? Uh, Rich, I'm doing really well. It's great to speak to you, and it's even better to speak to your audience. Thank you for having me. My pleasure. Really excited to speak with you today and learn more about your company. My first question, for those who are just discovering Awaken Life Sciences, can you tell us a little bit about the company? I'm happy to. Um, we're Awaken Life Sciences. We're a publicly traded biotechnology company. So we're publicly traded uh, in Canada on the NEO Exchange and the OTCQB in the US. And our core purpose, the thing that gets us going every single day, is we're addressing addiction by developing and delivering revolutionary new treatments that are inspired by psychedelics. But really, we're pushing the envelope on uh, developing and delivering revolutionary treatments for the biggest unmet medical need of modern times. Now, as a biotech company, you have a strong focus on addiction. Why is that? Um, just as I mentioned there, it, it's the biggest unmet need of modern times, Rich. Um, 20% of the population of the planet suffer from a substance addiction. And another many hundreds of millions of people suffer with behavioral addictions. So you've got substance addictions like alcohol and behavioral addictions like gambling. And when you look around at industries that warrant disruption or that are ripe for disruption, the addiction treatment industry is one of those industries. It's worth many, many billions of dollars per annum. So about $15 billion, billion per annum is spent on treatments for addiction and about $140 billion, Rich, $140 billion is spent on rehab and recovery. And do you know what the average success rate is? About 25% for alcohol addiction, about 20% for tobacco and about 5% for opioid addiction. So this is a massive, addic massive industry that's deeply underperforming and that is ripe for disruption. And we're the company that is going to disrupt that industry. Now, you just released the results of what looks like a groundbreaking phase 2A B clinical trial, which was ketamine assisted therapy for alcohol use disorder. Can you tell us more about this and what does it mean? Happy to tell you more about this. It was a trial, it was a phase 2A B trial. So, mid ranking trial from preclinical, you got phase three, and then your marketing authorization. It's run in the UK. Uh, the results were groundbreaking. And um, the people coming into this trial were abstinent, so not drinking, on average 2% of the time. So, two in 100 days, they were sober. Those that went through the ketamine assisted therapy, the proprietary ketamine assisted therapy designed by our team, were sober on average 86% of the time in the six months following treatment. So going from sober 2% of the time to sober 86% of the time after treatment, that's groundbreaking. And when you stack that up against an industry standard of sober 25% of the time, we are on the cusp of disrupting the addiction treatment industry, which is valued at many, many billions of dollars per annum. I've also read a bit about your behavioral addictions ketamine study, which you have just expanded considerably. Can you tell us about this? Happy to. Um, so the approach that we're taking to, to treating addiction is led by someone called Professor David Nutt. Professor David Nutt is the global authority in addiction research. He's one of the top three researchers globally. He's written 400 papers, 20 books. He was an advisor to the UK state on drug policy reform, and he's head of department in Imperial College London. The approach that we're taking to treat addiction is instead of focusing on individual receptor sites, we're focusing at disrupting the brain circuits that house addictive behaviors. So at a very, very simple level, there's three levels to your brain. Lower level, which is reward, memory, and prediction, prediction of pleasure. Mid level, which is salience, attribution, and driver. And upper level, which is your mind, the human cognition. As I like to call it, the analogy I use is the lower and mid level functions, they're the hardware, and the mind is the software. And what happens in an addicted brain is the mind, the software loses control over the hardware, and the hardware takes, takes over control. And that's why you hear people, Rich, say, 
I don't know why I went back drinking. I just found myself in the pub. I don't know why I was back in the bookies or back placing bets. I don't know why I was watching pornography, even though all of these things are really damaging to me as an individual, my family, my communities, my career. And so the approach that we're taking has been driven by David. And what we're doing is we're using psychedelic drugs like ketamine and MDMA, and we're actually developing our own compounds as well. But we're using those to disrupt the brain circuits that house the addictive behaviors. And in the space that that disruption provides, we're coming in with proprietary psychotherapy. So we're using drugs and therapies together in a unique revolutionary approach to treating addiction. That approach gives us the ability to treat both substance addictions like behavior, like um, alcohol addiction and behavioral addictions like gambling. And when you look at gambling disorder, there's 400 million people in the world are affected by alcohol use disorder. It's another 450 million people affected by gambling disorder. Up to 300 million people affected by uh, compulsive sexual behavior, which includes pornography addiction. So not only is substance addiction a massive, massive problem that's deeply underserved by the incumbent industry, behavior addictions are equally as big a problem. And so we're running the first studies in the world to develop a pharmacological treatment, so a drug-based treatment for behavioral addictions. We're really excited about the progress that we're making, and we're looking forward to making some substantial announcements in due course about the progress that we're making and the hope that we aim to provide for individuals, families, and communities so poorly affected by gambling addiction and other behavioral addictions. Can you let the audience know why is Awaken a good investment opportunity for them, in your opinion? Um, so Awaken is a, is a good investment opportunity. When you stack us up, Rich, against other players in the industry who have research at the, at the maturity that we do. So we are active in phase 2B with ketamine for alcohol use disorder, active in phase 2A for MDMA for alcohol use disorder, and developing our own drugs and working with behavioral addictions. You stack us up against that. The only other companies at this level are Compass and MindMed. And when you see the delta between our mark cap and their mark cap, you see that there is a significant opportunity for material shareholder value creation with Awaken. You then stack that up and alongside the catalysts, the material catalysts that we have coming down the track, and you'll see that this really is a company that has potential to grow. We've got announcements coming down the track about moving our phase 2B clinical trial for ketamine for alcohol use disorder into phase three in the UK as part of a strategy to secure marketing authorization for ketamine assisted therapy to treat alcohol use disorder in the UK, which is a 60 million person economy and a $2 trillion, sorry, 60 million person country and a $2 trillion a year uh, GDP territory. We've also got material announcements coming down the track about the development of ketamine as an intervention to treat behavioral addictions, MDMA to move from phase 2A to phase 2B, the identification of a lead and a backup for our drug development pro program, which we're gonna bring into lead optimization. And that's just what we're doing on the R&D side of the business. Rich, we're a biotech company, but we've got revenue today. We've got two clinics open and generating revenue in the UK and Norway today, with a third one to come in the next few weeks. And then on top of that, we're actually going to be licensing the IP from the phase 2B ketamine trial into the North American addiction industry starting in Q2 this year. So a biotech company that we believe is undervalued with a strong pipeline of catalyst events coming down the track line with revenue starting today and another revenue stream to start in Q2 this year. So we think there's interesting things to come from this company. Now, Awaken recently announced that the company has partnered with MAPS for MDMA-assisted therapies for treatment of alcohol use disorder in Europe. Could you please right. break this down a little for us and what it means for the company? Absolutely happy to. So our MO, our modus operandi for our research biotech business is to acquire assets, partner with leaders to accelerate towards a positive outcome. So for the ketamine for alcohol use disorder, we have acquired the IP from the University College, uh, University of Exeter. We're partnering with the NHS to bring it forward into a phase three. For MDMA-assisted therapy, 
We've acquired the IP from a phase 2A trial from Imperial College in London, which is one of the world's leading research institutes for psychedelics. And we've partnered with MAPS, one of the leading companies in the world working with MDMA for PTSD, in order to accelerate this research from phase 2A to phase 2B and on to a phase 3 and marketing authorization for MDMA-assisted therapy to treat alcohol use disorder in Europe. There are 750 million people in Europe when you take in the total geographical area. So it's about 2x the size of the US with about the same number of people drinking too much and the same problem. So you get a size of the opportunity. So we're partnering with MAPS because they know as much about MDMA as any other company in the world. And so we're partnering with them to improve the probability of success for our research and to reduce the timeline to, to marketing authorization for MDMA-assisted therapy for alcohol use disorder to treat in the UK, EU, and wider Europe. And we think that is a really, really good way to de-risk that for, our, to, for the company and therefore increase the probability of success for the company and therefore for shareholders. Anthony, what is the best way to get in touch with the company for anyone who has any questions? Best way for anyone to get in touch with the company is just contact me. It's a very easy, easy email address. It's anthony at awakenlifesciences.com. And oh, awaken is just spelled A-W-A-K-N. So awakenlifesciences.com. More than happy to field, uh, to field emails. And uh, if people want to you know, set up a conf call and stuff like that, I'm happy to, happy to have a chat with them as well. Super excited to have you on the show today. CEO of Awaken Life Sciences. Anthony Tennyson. Now, I must remind everyone that Rich TV Live is strictly for information and education purposes. Please do your due diligence, do your research before you invest in anything we talk about or discuss here on Rich TV Live. In saying that, this is a company with a tight float. It's a company that I believe is undervalued, underappreciated, underexposed. Thank you for joining us today, Anthony, and we wish you all the best of luck. Rich, thank you very much. My pleasure. Thank you for watching, everybody. If you like the video, smash the like button, comment down below, share the video everywhere, and subscribe. If you're not winning, you're probably not watching. We bring you the winners, and we bring them to you first. Thank you for watching, everybody. Have a nice day.